I know some of y'all out there thinking right now, like, it, why would you put two one and two teams up here? Well, first of all, like I told y'all yesterday, these two teams here have both disappointed us all so far. They it's both in a premier matchup early in the season. Exactly. You know what I mean? If you were looking at the college football schedule in the offseason, how we were in some of these teams, you looked at this West Virginia and K, uh, KU game, and you but and you probably said, well, both of these teams may meet at least 2-1 and one or, you know, 3-0. and, oh. and probably, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, and they're sitting at one and two right now, and they're opening their Big 12 plate up against each other. West Virginia is at home. They played Pitt last week. Um, they let Pitt came back from a 10-point deficit, and they wound up winning that game. They showed a little bit of weakness on that defense, and I didn't like C.J. Donaldson carried the ball well. Garrett Green played well. Um, his height was a little bit of factor when it came down to the pressure. Uh, look. I like KU. I like KU, and I can't give up on KU. I just can't. Their defense is good. I like the way their defense look. I like the way their little receiver look, their little slot receiver. Uh, Devin Nils carrying the ball. Jalen Daniels, man, just take what the defense is giving you, bro. I talked about this a little bit yesterday, Shad. Just take what the defense is giving you. And I, I'm going with the away team on this one, man. I, I got to go Kansas. And, and uh, I'm crossing my fingers taking them, but I can't give up yet. It, don't do me wrong, Jalen. Jalen in the Kansas, call them Q dogs. Because I'm telling you right now, man, if you lose, bro, I'm not rocking with y'all no more for the rest of this season, bro. No more. I'm I'm actually shocked that you're taking Kansas because of how glowingly you spoke about Gary Green in the offseason. I'm shocked that you're taking Kansas. Um, Kansas, yeah, I just lost to UNLV. <laughs> yeah. Jalen Daniels mm -hmm. has not he and Dequan Finn. I know Quinn uh Finn has been dealing with an injury. And even Jalen Daniels, he's coming back off of an injury. Mm -hmm. Disappointed. Disappointed. I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, just been right. just have been disappointing uh both young men. Yeah, I mean, um Devin Neal um uh, it's been solid this year. You know, for the most part. But I'm about to go with West Virginia. West Virginia. I'm about to go. I'm 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 I what I in this I have to go with the team with the better quarterback. I have to. Because I think they're even. Okay. I think they're even. I, I think I they're even in that team. You're right. You right. I have talked highly about Garrett Green. Um I, I still think Garrett Green is a top five quarterback in the Big Twelve. I honestly do. Um, I do. Um, I'm not gonna switch that up. But however, when this in this matchup here, man, um, Kansas got to bounce back, bro. They gotta have a bounce back. And he's just, I don't know why Jalen Daniels, but he he would never was in my. Believe it or not, y'all, he was not in. I think he's in my top ten in the Big Twelve. But I think I got him at like number eight or nine. Like when I did the Big Twelve quarterback rankings uh, before the season started, like he's at like eight or nine, and that was simply because we don't know if he can stay healthy or not. And I mean, he can run; he's athletic, but his decision making has been horrible. It's been horrible. So I did. It's been pretty bad. It's been pretty bad. It's been pretty bad. Pretty bad. Yes. 